Hey guys, Stormboy13. Last year I did like a update on the hurricane outlook for the Atlantic Ocean for 2018. And uh, this year, nothing to do with views, but I wanted to try and inform as many people as I can of what the this year's hurricane season could potentially be like. Will it be more than last year or will it be even fewer? Because we had a pretty quiet season last year. Let's find out. Also, bloody hell, those birds are loud. The storm has now arrived. Hello Americans who are watching this video who are desperate to know what this year's hurricane season would be like. So as we know, um, just before we um, do the uh, 2019 season, um, last year's season, I think you probably may have noticed, it has been significantly more quieter than last year. Uh, well, no, the 2017 I should say. Um, but, did we have any major hurricanes last year? Well, while there were certainly fewer storms last year, and majority of the hurricanes were at a pretty low level from Tropical Storm 2 to Category 2, there were still two hurricanes measured Category 4 on the hurricane, um, on the Victor scale, I should say, uh, was recorded, um, and still the death toll got up to around 100 people, which is something we never want to see. First was Florence, uh, Category 4 hurricanes we know, um, started from August 31st to September 17th, mostly targeted West Africa, Cape Verde, Bermuda, Southeastern United States, especially the Carolinas, Mid-Atlantic States, Atlantic and Canada. But also, uh, we had Hurricane Michael uh, in October 7th to October 12th last year. It only lasted for six days, but it caused uh, roughly $25 billion in damages, um, which obviously was the most uh, one of the most expensive um, disasters from the hurricanes from last year. Uh, again, areas targeted were Central America, Utica and Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Southeastern United States, especially the Florida Panhandle, East Coast United States, Atlantic Canada, Iberia and Peninsula. Now what I can tell you this year is we're likely to, well, the Atlantic will be likely to be having another slightly quieter than active hurricane season, which I guess on some some ways it's good news however if it is a quiet season there's still a possibility a category 4 or category 5 hurricane will still develop some point um, during the hurricane season now um, that's happened in the past and it could happen again this year we have got names which will be shown for hurricane season 2019 okay so here are the names for this year's Atlantic hurricane season we have Andrea we have Barry we have Chantel, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Duran, Erin, Fernand, Gabriel, Humberto, some weird names this year. Emilda, <laughs> Mida, Emilda, Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo, Melissa, Nesta, Olga, Pablo, Rebecca, Sebastian, Tanya. Van, Wendy, some slightly unusual names this year, um, or some un unpopular names, but there you go, That's um, these are names for this year's Atlantic Hurricane season. Now back to the topic on a slightly quieter than average um, scenario, which is the most likely. Well, first of all, um, they're predicting uh, the first forecast of the year was released from TSR, one of the, I believe it is the weather stations, um, roughly two months ago. Um, so there might have been an update on this, but they, which predicted a slightly below to a very close to average season this year, predicting there will be 12 named storms, so obviously not all the names are likely to be used. There will be 5 hurricanes, and obviously there will be, once again, 2 major hurricanes, 
mainly because it's due to the anticipated presence of El Nino conditions during the season. Now, basically, El Nino occurs every two to five years across uh, parts of the world, where you know one part of the ocean's temperatures will be above average, which will bring a huge change to um, weather systems across um, all parts of the globe uh, with change of rainfall and uh, wind patterns whatever to some parts of the ocean having slightly below average temperatures with kind of similar uh, results with parts of the weather depending on what part of the globe it occurs but um, that's what the uh, weather prediction centers um, estimate that 2019 will likely to be a slightly below or slightly quieter to a very close to average season but nothing too major, which uh, which we think. So it could be a bit similar to last year as well. Okay, uh, and there's another um, site from Interstates, um, kind of a similar results. So as we know, um, so as we know, the 2018 hurricane season um, officially ended November 1st of last year. So initial outlooks have already been issued for this year's hurricane season. The season we always know officially starts on June 1st, which is uh, for some meteorologically the first day of summer. The Tropical Meteorology Project at Colorado State University uh, will okay will be releasing its full first full forecast. You might want to pay attention to this on first day the fourth of April if you are hurricane fans or or interest of hurricane experts who wants to know about this. First day April 4th will be the day um, you'll get your first full. First full forecast. So they recently produced a primary discussion of where they evaluated the likelihood of several hurricane activity scenarios. So the TMP is currently given an approximately 35% chance of an above normal hurricane season, a 50% chance of a near normal hurricane season, and a 15% chance of a below normal hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin in 2019. So there are some disagreements with some computer models. So um, for reference, the average Atlantic hurricane season has about 12 named storms. Maximum winds we know is 39 miles per hour. Six hurricanes, obviously, maximum winds 74, and three major hurricanes, maximum winds 111. So the forecast was based on the premises that a North Sea Atlantic sea surface temperature currently slightly below normal across the far North Atlantic and the Tropical Atlantic. In general, the Tropical Atlantic has been slightly cooler than normal over the past several months, providing a slight inhibiting factor for Atlantic hurricane formation. Warmer than normal sea surface temperatures provide more fuel for developing Atlantic storms. The development of El Nino uh, warmer than normal water temperatures in the eastern and central tropical Pacific is likely during the next couple of months. But there is considerable uncertainty as to whether the El Nino would persist through next year's hurricane season. So El Nino typically produces stronger physical wind shear to change the wind direction of heights in the atmosphere in the Atlantic Basin, tearing apart hurricanes as they are trying to develop. So the UK-based Tropical Storm Risk has produced their first forecast for the 2019 season. They did it uh, Tuesday 11th December last year, just before Christmas. The so initial forecast calls for a total for 12 named storms, 5 hurricanes and 2 major hurricanes, always slightly below normal season. So it's quite a bit of um, you know, a bit of an argument between the UK Tropical Storm Risk and Interstate site itself. Uh, the outlook was based on the premises we know that tropical Atlantic low level winds are predicted to be slightly greater than the long term average because of a weak El Nino event and a slightly cooler than normal tropical Atlantic sea surface temperature. So, we know several hurricane outlooks issued in December historically have low levels of skill. Since there's a lot that can change in the atmosphere, ocean temperature between December and the start of hurricane season in June. Consequently, it is advisable to treat these initial forecasts with caution. So historically, the skill of these outlooks increases as the Atlantic hurricane season approaches. It's also important to note that regardless of the level of overall hurricane activity experienced in any season, it takes only one significant landfalling hurricane to make it an active season. So during the off season, it's a great time to make sure that you have reviewed your disaster recovery plan. So. That's all I have to deliver for you today. If you want me to do an update on the hurricane outlook in several months' time, you're more than welcome to comment below and I will see what I can do for you. But what do you kind of think? Would it be an active season, average, below average, yeah, below average season? For me, um, I would predict, because of the El Nino and stuff, you know, like, personally I would say it would be a slightly quieter season, but don't be surprised if you may see one or two major storms you know, just about anywhere across the Atlantic Ocean, um, well, particularly across parts of the Caribbean, certain parts of the US, um, for example, etc. So just be ready for it. But for, for me, um, you are 
more than welcome to give out your opinions, give out your likes or dislikes, that's absolutely fine. For me, I would say it'll be a slightly quieter than normal season once again, mainly because of the El Nino event. That's just my opinion, but that's what I would probably believe in. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you got me clearly. hope you're um, happy with um, everything I've said. Uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, want me to, um, like or dislike if you want to give out your opinions, absolutely fine. Just no nasty comments, that's all. Uh, and that's about it. Um, catch up with more videos soon. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos as always. The Storm is now out.